Hey guys, it's Andrew with the Avalon Legacy. Uh, I have another Yu-Gi-Oh! video for you today. Um, yeah, I'm still pretty obsessed with Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, you know, obviously Pokemon's still top priority, um, but Yu-Gi-Oh!'s still super nostalgic to me. It's like, it's like in the same, like, upper echelons of nostalgia for Pokemon. So, like, it was just a different era, um, of my life. So... I am trying to craft the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh! binder for me, personally. Um, so I planned out a ton of pages. I planned out like 30 spreads <laughs> of a binder. Um, I'm going to just slowly add cards to it. Um, so I want to do a binder update, how it is right now. And then when it's finally completed, I'm going to make another video. So I'm only going to make two, two Yu-Gi-Oh! binder videos. Because um, this is like a side project, obviously. It's not like the main collection focus. But I want a perfect... Just a, a amazing Yu-Gi-Oh binder. Um, so I'll show you, you know, how it is laid out so far. Um, so I have this sick. I have the legendary collection, uh, the first one, which is weird that it's silver. You think the first one would be gold and the second one would be silver, but it's actually reversed. Um, so I got this myself. It, I forgot what cards it came with. It was, I don't even think it was Blue Eyes, which is kind of funny. I I have two cards from it still. Actually, I think I have three cards from it. Um, I think it came with six cards, if I remember right. Maybe it was only three. I don't know. I actually don't remember, which is funny. Um, but, so I have my favorite of the Egyptian gods, the Winged Dragon of Ra. This is the OG GB1 printing. It's the ultra-rare version, so it's technically the second printing. But it does have the Japanese... You can see it has the Japanese... Uh, you can't use this in a dual message right there. Um... So this is awesome. I got this at um, one of my childhood malls we always used to go to, and um, it was $35, I think, or $40. $35 or $40. But it was basically all the money I had saved from, like, allowance and stuff. Um, and I bought it, and I was so happy, and I still have it. Just sick. Um, and then I have this Blaze Toon Dragon. Uh, this was not my original. I did have the Magic Ruler Secret Rare one, but I sold it like an idiot. Um, so then later on, uh, my friend Noah traded me this one, um, and I still have it, which is awesome. This is the super rare version from, a uh, Dark Beginning 1. Yeah. So that was, like, a reprint pack. That was when they, like, first started really doing, like, reprint packs. Um, and then I have my, my, so he's my OG favorite monster, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. This is my, like, new current favorite monster, uh, the VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. I just always loved the Dragon Cannons, uh, which I will show you very soon. Uh, it's, like, the first page. Um, so I have that. Uh, that's the original super rare, not first edition one that I pulled myself. Um, when the when the not when the set first came out, because when it first came out, I didn't even know the set was out, so I didn't get like any first editions of it. But I did. I got the unlimited one. Um, I pulled that from like three or five packs, maybe. Um, and I was like, this is amazing. So I have those in there. So the first spread or first page is for the all the fusions of uh, VW XYZ. Um, or sorry, A, B, C, V, W, X, Y, Z. So, <laughs> so we're gonna do it like, the glare is annoying. So you can see I have the original X, Y, Z Dragon Cannon. That's, I got that from my friend Greg, he traded it to me. Um, first edition. And then I have the first print. So these are all the first prints of them. So I have the first print of VW Tiger Catapult from Elemental Energy. I have the A, B, C Dragon Buster, which they did these somewhat more recently. They did a starter deck Kaiba with, um, like newer cards, so they, they made an ABC Dragon Buster, and then they did a Dra A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon, which is like a combined version of all of them. Well, technically not all of them, just ABC and XYZ. Technically, there is no complete one with ABC VW XYZ, which I hope they do that in the future. That would be crazy. Um, and then I have a first edition version right there. I should just take these out instead of lifting it, but I'll do it for this page and then um, I have the first edition VWXYZ, uh, which I bought a long time ago. And then at the bottom, I have the... Um, I'll take these ones out because this is annoying. So I have the XZ Tank Cannon. These are like all the optional fusion ones, you know, the different combinations. Um, I pulled this one myself the same day that Greg pulled that one. We both got packs and he pulled that one. I pulled this one. Um, so those are special to me because of that. And then I have the XY Dragon Cannon, which is the other ultra rare. So these are both ultra rare versions. Um, my brother Chris pulled this one and he traded it to me. And I still have it, which is awesome. And then I can't remember if I pulled this one myself or I just ended up buying it. 
But this is the only one of the original four that isn't first edition. Um, so I, I must have bought it way later, or traded for it, maybe. Uh, but it was the last one I got of the four. And then I'm just missing um, Armed Dragon Catapult Cannon, which will go there. Um, so I am missing a lot of cards. Um, <laughs> I put... I made a list of all the cards that I want and where they're going to go, uh, which I do with Pokemon too. So it just felt natural to do it for Yu-Gi-Oh! also. So on this page, we have uh, A, P, A, B, C, V, W, X, Y, Z. And then I do have an ultimate rare. This came in recently. I have an ultimate rare of the V, W, X, Y, Z in Japanese, um, which is freaking sick. I love ultimate rares. Yeah, they're very good. They're like, you know, embossed or raised texture they're the first like textured Yu-Gi-Oh cards uh rarity um so that's sick i've wanted this card for so long i was gonna get it in english um but i wanted to have a japanese version of my favorite monster so i was like i'll get the ultimate in japanese so that was cool um and then i have let me center this a little better here so the glare isn't <laughs> too annoying well we are all the way over there all right so now we have annoying me <laughs> it's not even um so now i have the kaiba 25th anniversary collection promos um i have the xy dragon cannon this is with the corrected these three are with corrected art so oh, i guess i'll do i don't want to go like super in depth but i want to go kind of in depth so like this is the quote-unquote lost art version because it has actual like cannon barrels for those and those whereas opposed to the this version, they're, like, edited to be more, like, cartoony, and they're, like, electricity flowing through them, which I actually like this version better, <laughs> which is funny, because there was, like, a censored thing, uh, but they did finally print uh, this year, or was it late last year? I don't remember. Um, they finally printed the original art, um, so that's awesome, so I had to get those. Um, I am missing the other alternate art, XYZ, and then I have this one, um, but then same thing with x Head Cannon. This is the corrected art with the actual cannon barrel as opposed to the cartoony one. Which is like hard to see. You can kind of tell. <laughs> um, and then I have XYZ of that. I still need the original Z Metal Tank, so we're working on that. And then there's also a Lost Art VW XYZ, which is going to go there. And then there's um, crap. What's going there? Oh, the Ultra Rare VW uh, Tiger Catapult. We'll go there. So there's all those. Those are like my favorite group of monsters. Um, so they had to be first. And then this is like more nostalgic stuff um chakra right there that's my only like original layout card i have so it has the extended attack and defense box and the smaller that box and the bigger um uh, artwork frame so like i have that i still need the english version i'm i was so happy when they made that in english that's one of my favorite original monsters um and then i have my first ultimate rare i've pulled in japanese uh makira the destructor and then my first english ultimate rare and this was my brother's first Ultimate Rare that he pulled, and he traded it to me. Um, and I have McDonald's Pack Tech Riminos. I pulled that. Um, it's very damaged. It's very creased. But that's what, that was my favorite card from the original um, McDonald's Pack. And then two other Nostalgic Dragons. Uh, my friend John really liked that card, I remember. So I have that there. And my brother, my John's brother, Seth, really liked that card, so I put that there. Um, it's a Ritual, too, so it fits there. And then this page is blank for now, but it will have all the Magnet Warrior cards. Um, I do have this original, my original Valkyria on the Magna Warrior um, from Stairway to the Dustin Duel. But for some reason, I peeled it because <laughs> promo rares were like notoriously easy to peel back then. So I literally peeled it off. Um, so I just put it back in this case and now it's like this. Um, yeah. So I'm glad I still have it. Um, it's a cool little keepsake, but it doesn't fit in a binder. I'm not going to put it in a binder. Um, so I only have Gamma from the original ones, unfortunately. Um, and then we get into my second favorite group of monsters, which was my original favorite group of monsters, naturally, because Blue Eyes Toon. Um, I'm going to take this out because I got this recently. This is the parallel ultra rare version from um, uh, PS. What is P Oh, Pharaoh Servant, which is funny because the tunes were actually in Pharaoh Servant in Japanese, but they're in Magic Ruler in English um, to fit with Relinquished. Um, but this is sick. This is like... This card uh, was so like elusive to me when I was younger. I remember seeing it at the mall for like stupid expensive prices same thing with like in like those uh beckett magazines um so this is like 
this was like a, such a elusive card to me and I just like finally got it for $16 on eBay. Um, I love it. I just love the parallel hollow and it just looks so good. Um, another reason I wanted to get the English secret rare version again, but like I settled with this cause this is like insane to me when I was younger. So I'm just finally have that. Um, and then I'm, so I'm missing a lot of tune monsters, but uh, I'm working on it. Um, this card's special to me because I bought the structure deck, uh, structure deck for Pegasus in Japanese at the mall uh, a long time ago for like 50 bucks. And that was like so important to me because I wanted it so badly because I noticed there was like new toon monsters. And I was like, this is insane. I need the, I need all the toon monsters. Like, so I got, I, that's not my original one. I, I traded that one to John and then I don't know what he did with it. But then I just bought this a, lot, a while ago to have it again. And then I have more Pegasus monsters because he's my favorite character from Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I did get this recently, which is the Ghost Rare Relinquished. Um, it was not released in English, which was stupid. Um, I think it originally came out with the Ancient Millennium uh, pack or whatever it was called, Duelist, Duelist Pack Ancient Millennium. But it wasn't released in English for some reason. I don't know why. Um, it does not look as good as the old Ghost Rares. I know that's like a thing with Yu-Gi-Oh, but um, it still looks really good, and I'm glad to have it because it's Japanese exclusive for now. Um, yeah, I love it. That's so sick. Relinquished is definitely, like, my third favorite monster, easily. Um, and then I have Thousand Eyes Restrict, which is his, like, evolved form, quote-unquote, and then I have Dark Eyes Illusionist, which is another similar-looking monster. Um, I just love the eyeball. I love the giant wings that fold down when Relinquished absorbs a monster. I love how it ha they, like, have the Millennium, the eyes, not the Millennium eyes, there's another card for that that I don't have, but they have the eyeballs on there. Like, it's just so cool. Like, I love it. Um, and then I have tune, tune stuff over here. I need a few more there. Um, and then we get some more additional Millennium-related things. I have the original Duelist Kingdom, like, entry card. That came with the st Structure Deck Pegasus in Japanese. That's the only one I have left of those three. Um, I did pull Relinquish Fusion from Duelist Pack Millennium. Uh, Ancient Millennium, whatever. And I have the original uh, Black Illusion Ritual. And then another group of monsters, I love the Spirit Monsters. Um, I pulled that myself from... Oh my god, Legacy of Darkness? What is it called? Legend? Legacy of Darkness? LOD? Wow, why can't I remember what that's actually called? Uh, but I did pull that myself, first edition. Uh, last turn, which is awesome. Um, I think my friend Kenny pulled that, and he traded it to me. Or maybe I pulled it myself? I don't remember. He had Hinokami Mitsuchi, and I had Yamada Dragon, so it was cool that they like fought on this card. Uh, that was always a special thing for me. I have that Paris World uh, Duelist League. I oh, know, Hidden Legacy? Hidden something? Uh, Asura Priest, which is cool. I love the parallel rares. They're awesome. Um, and then this page is going to be a lot of Egyptian-themed cards. I have none except these two. Thanian, or Thanan, or whatever, from the movie. First movie. And then Tragoeda, however you pronounce that. It's like the dark Exodia guy, or whatever. I didn't even watch GX, or whatever that's from. So I don't even know. But I was looking into the lore a little bit. And then we start with the Egyptian gods. Uh, I do have Five-Headed Dragon, which is sick. I need the other two. Um, I have the Egyptian gods there. I have the Korean uh, Pharaoh rare ones. What they're, so they're, they're just commons, but they have the Pharaoh Pharaoh rare. Um, well, it's really hard to pick up, but there's the hieroglyphics across the whole card, which is sick. This is what kickstarted my obsession to Yu-Gi-Oh! again. Uh, I got these April 1st uh, of this year. I got them from TCG Player for like $6 each, and I was like, these are amazing. I need more Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. <laughs> So that's when I started replanning this whole collection. And then we have, I did pull this Uriah, first edition, myself from Shadow of Infinity. I uh, love that card. Um, then I have the Wicked versions, and then I have the Alt Art Gods. I have this sick, um, god, I forget which gold series this is from, but it's one of my favorite cards. It's Secret, Secret Ghost, or Secret Gold Rare, Winged Dragon of Ra, in its effect version that you can actually play with. Yep, that's sick. I love that card. Um, I still need the Immortal Phoenix. That'll go in the middle. Right there. And then... Uh, this is going to be the Red Eyes page, and this is going to be the Blue Eyes page. So I do have Shining Dragon from the movie. Um, I have this. I got this from my friend Kenny. Uh, it's a Blue Eyes White Dragon from Forbidden Legacy, I think it was called. Or something. Uh, it was like that blister pack that came with just some old packs and then this promo in a random, like... Uh, one of six cards, I think, pack. And he got the blue eyes, which was awesome. And he traded it to me. 
Um, and then we have some more dragons. So all the dragons kind of go in a row um, with some other random cards. I have the Metal Zoa and the Barrel Dragons mixed in there. Um, I have this Rainbow Dragon that's in really bad condition, but it is the original. Um, I have this Death's Volskalf. I was, like, obsessed with this card. This used to be, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Championships promo. But then they printed it in one of the Gold Series 2. Um, and my friend Kenny pulled it, and I was like, you have to trade that to me. You are obligated to trade that to me. Because <laughs> I was, like, obsessed with that card. I was like... And then he finally did trade it to me. I have Tired Dragon, which is another very nostalgic card. Same thing with Serpent Eye Dragon and Say Are You. Um, very good. This used to be on my brother's. He traded it to me. And then I can't remember if I pulled this myself. It is first edition from Magic Ruler, original print. Uh, it was either, I think, either John pulled that and traded it to me, or I pulled it myself. I can't remember. Um, and we got uh, Water Dragons up there. I got Meteor Dragon down here. And I'm going to have Thunder Dragon in the middle, so it's like water, lightning, fire, which is cool. This is going to be the page for the three legendary, um, whatever those guys are called, the Legend Dragons of Legend or whatever, Waking the Dragons. Um, I do have Timaeus, the Timaeus and uh, a Claw of Hermos that I pulled myself. And then this is going to be Xyz Monsters. I have Leviathan Dragon, but I want the Astral one because it's sick. Um, and then I have the Signer Dragons page with their, like, I don't even know what, like, corrupted counterparts, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what those are actually called. Um, then I have this page, which is Malefic stuff and continuing the Cider Dragons. Oh, my dinner's ready. Crap. <laughs> um, so then I have, yeah, the Malefic. I bought some of that uh, booster pack when that came out, so I got most of the Malefic monsters. I just need Paradox's ones. Um, I still haven't watched that movie, which is funny. I, I'm going to watch it this weekend, I think. Um, and then Galaxy Eyes by himself with nothing else. Um, I did pull a Judgment Dragon recently, finally. Uh, I'm glad to have that, because when it came out, it was stupid expensive. Um, I do have an Ultimate Rare Lifestream Dragon. I'll show that in a second. This page is going to be a lot of crazy dragons. Um, I, love, I love this card. Lifestream Dragon so sick. And this is the... Now they're not really that new, but this is the middle era um, Ultimate Rares. These look so sick. Yeah. I like that. I love that card. That's so good. And then, let's see what else we got here. So this is like some more classic monsters. I got Revival Jam in the corner there. Love that card. Uh, I pulled a Dark Necker Fear recently from the uh, Legendary um, Battles, whatever. Battles of Legend. I did pull a Gate Guardian from the 25th Anniversary Collection and a Metal Raiders pack. That was awesome because I never owned that card when I was younger. Uh, I love that. And Mass Beast, that's another one of my original like favorite monsters. Um, I need Death Guardians still. Um, and then I have Cyber Dark End Dragon from the Structure deck. I love that card. I love 12 star monsters. He has 5,000 attack, which is nuts. Um, I have some other classics here. I love Injection Fairy Lily. I think my friend Adam pulled that and he traded it to me. I remember he had it and I was very jealous. Um, I do have a sick Cosmo Queen with like a printing error. I'll show that a little closer. And it's like a. Uh, I don't even know what it is. It's like a piece of. It's like a drop of something got on it and just like screwed up the like set name. Or set a label, whatever you want to call it. That is from the McDonald's packs. So I do really like that. Um, I do have a quarter century blue eyes, or <laughs> red eyes black dragon that I pulled from the 920th anniversary collection I got. And I do have this blue eyes from the Kaiba Japanese structure deck. It's like in English, like they wrote it in English, but it's in the Japanese style. Uh, I do not remember the story about this. I, tr I think I traded it to someone and for some reason one of their friends like ripped it up and then they like gave it back to me for some reason. I don't know why they didn't just keep it or throw it away but i still have it <laughs> and it's like one of those childhood things that like i still have so i keep that in there i have the 20th anniversary or 10th anniversary pack whoa uh cards um and then i did pull this dark magicians recently which is sick it has both of them on there i have this ultimate rare destiny and dragoon i love that card um, I love this card because it was a fusion of me and my friend Kenny's two favorite Destiny Hero cards. It's Destiny Hero Plasma and Dogma fused together, so I really like that one. I have a Forbidden Le Legacy Yu-Gi-Oh there, or Yu-Gi-Oh, Karibo. Um, and then I have my, like, automaton monsters, I like to call them. Uh, so I have a Jinzo with the Japanese, uh, Anniversary Pack one. I have Hyper Psychic Blaster, which I love that card. It's a great design. Um, and then I have the creator with, uh, Arcana Force. What is that, 21? Uh, that's an ultimate rare. I want to show this close up because it's so sick. I love the Assault Mode cards. They're really cool, too. And I love his design. 
His wings are so sick. And then we got, uh, this is going to be the Elemental Hero page. I'm missing a few there. I did pull the Stratos recently from Battles of Legend. Uh, Blade Edge is my favorite, though. It's so sick. Um, that's the original SR from Elemental Energy, first edition. Um, and then I have Ubel up there. Um, I have this uh, Alchemist of Black spells that my brother gave to me recently, actually. Um, this is going to be all XC's stuff. Um, I did pull these recently from uh, Battles of Legend. I love the Seven Sins card. That card is sick. Uh, I'm actually obsessed with the Seven Deadly Sins, so I like that <laughs> for that reason. Um, I have some more nostalgic cards here. Partially Ultimate Great Moth. That's a classic. Um, this is going to be other human cards page. Um, I do have a Psychic Gun Punisher that I got from uh, uh, the East Coast Collectibles Con recently. That's a sick card. I have three of the Kaiju cards down here that I pulled from Battles of Legend. Another blank page. I have some classic uh, Gagagigo cards. I have the Konami uh, mascot guys or whatever. Then I have the Konami uh, mech fighter uh, like Gradius cards. Whatever they're called. Um, I have a bunch of random cards I like from their like, random like object guys and stuff. Uh, fusions that I like. I love Humanoid Worm Drake. That's such a cool card. It reminds me of Chaos from Sonic. So I, I was obsessed with that card. Um, I got Baby Dragon, Petite Dragon. I got a bunch of cute cards here. Cute and weird cards. Um, nothing too crazy there. This Shining Friendship, actually. I think Greg, my friend Greg pulled this from a tournament pack. It's from Tournament Pack 1, and he gave it to me, and it's such, just cool because Shining Friendship, and he's still my friend. Um, and then this page is just a bunch of other newer cards. Um, that's not really that new. Uh, I have a red text Dark Magician Girl there. That's cool. I got that recently. And then I have a Cyber page here, Cyber Dragons. And then I have some other mech the cards and a random dragon guy. And then this page, I, I really like this page because it has my, like, error cards. Let me go turn my oven off real quick. <laughs> oh, this video was taking longer than I thought. Okay, so this page is crazy because I have... I've been wanting to show these for a while. So this is nothing crazy. This is a guy, the Dragon Champion. It's like the first, like, error card, basically. It has the reversed secret rare, so it's going from right to left. But it also has the ultra rare text so it's just gold instead of the rainbow that is supposed to be on secret rares um so i have that and then i have this sick i saw this in a blister pack at target or walmart and it has it's been stamped like more than once up there and down there so you can see elementary mud man and it's upside down saying a white horn dragon but it, you can only see the white and then whore like ho and then like barely any of that and then ragon over there so that's freaking sick so it got stamped multiple times with elemental hero mud ball man and then stamped with white horn dragon and then if that's not cool enough on the back <laughs> upside down elemental hero mud ball man over the Yu-Gi-Oh logo and elemental hero mud ball man near the middle like this is insane this is crazy and it was just it was in a blister pack with like two other packs or whatever you know they used to do those at target and walmart all the time and it's just, like, insane. And the front of it is, like, kind of glossy. You can't really tell. But it's not the same as, like, a normal, like, rare card. It's just, like, so insane. I had to get it. Like, guys down there. There's the Ragon. And there's White H. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's crazy. And the funny thing is the back is, like, imprinted more than the front uh, for the stamps. Like, you can see there's, like, depth there. Like, this is sick. I, like, I love this card. This is one of my favorite error cards in my entire collection, not just Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, that is crazy that I have that. And then this Thousand Dragon isn't too crazy. It's it's just kind of... It got water damaged or something, so, like, the, the secret rare hollow is, like, missing from the left and right, like, sides right here and here. So it, like, kind of flows down and, like, comes out at the bottom. You can kind of see it there. Actually, so, what the heck... Yeah, like, it's only, like, the bottom, like, triangle of him, and then, like, in the top left and behind him, kind of. But, yeah, so I, I do have that. That's cool, because they're 
two secret two secret rare error cards like um and then this black magic ritual isn't too crazy but the text is like aligned way up in the top left corner of the text box so i thought that was kind of cool oh and this one's also going from right to left i just noticed that that's hilarious is it like that like every secret rare is going from wait that my red eyes black metal dragon's like that too okay i guess it's random I thought it was always left to right, but whatever. Um, and then I have, and this is the most obvious one, I have a test print card. I think I got this from John's brother, Seth. But it is a secret rare, which is my favorite type of rarity. And, no, the back is the same, right? Yeah, the back just has the standard Yu-Gi-Oh. But this is sick. I love this. And at the top, you can kind of see there's like a silver strip where the print, the colors end. Um, so I love this. This is insane. Um, so yeah, that's very good. This Magical Hats is, um, texture shifted. So you can see it's texture shifted down, uh, into the text box. Not, yeah, touching a little bit of the text, but you can see, yeah. It's just really cool. I love texture shifts. I have one or two texture shifts for Pokemon. Can't remember. A little fuzzy in there. There we go. Look at that in there. And then, uh, bottom right one, Darkness Approaches. That's nothing crazy. It just has a crimp on the top. But it's a very, it's a very relevant crimp. It's very deep. Um, and then this X Head Cannon is kind of weird. It has, like, red, like, there's, like, some extra magenta ink that got stamped right there and then, like, gradiented up, apparently, somehow. So, you know, I have that. It's from Duelist Pack 2. Uh, the Chaz Duelist pack, I believe, right? Yeah. No, yeah, it wasn't Kaiba at that point, because the first two were Jaden and Chaz, if I remember right. And then this last one, this is just a joke. It's Fatal Abacus. So the joke was, every time me and my friend Adam bought Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and he bought Legacy of Darkness. What? It is Legacy of Darkness, right? What else would it be? LOD. Legacy of Darkness. Yeah, because then there's Light of Destruction, Legacy of Destruction, like... All right, anyway, so every time he bought packs of this, he, he got Fatal Abacus, like, no matter what. So I still have one of those there. So yeah, that's my, that's the binder right now. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other cards that I didn't, like, really talk about. Um, you know, mostly, obviously, the nostalgic ones are the most important ones. Um, that's crazy. Um, yeah, Injection Fairy Lily, classic. Oh, this Command Knight also is kind of an error. Um, it has the Secret Rare name with a rainbow text but it has the ultra rare hollow ultra super rare instead of the secret rare hollow that was a common thing for those tins though i thought from what i've heard um so yeah that's i like that a lot um what else yeah i just you get so cool like <laughs> there's just so many cool cards even like the new mechanics that i hate and the reason why i don't play the game anymore like xc's and it's like synchro wasn't horrible xc's is kind of crazy pendulum is just stupid um but there's still sick cards being made of all of those types. So, like, um, I do not mind collecting them for the art, obviously. Um, very nostalgic, very sick. I just can't wait till this binder's done. It's got to look so good with all the awesome cards. Um, tunes, freaking sick. I can't wait to get all those. Um, you know, Pokemon, like I said, Pokemon's still top priority. Um, oh, I didn't even explain these. So this was the first card that Greg ever gave me. Um, when he, we were just going through his collection that he had, you know, amassed before I actually started collecting. I was with, uh, him and, him, John, and Adam, I think. I don't remember if Adam was there that time. Um, but I still have it. It was first edition Legend of the Blue Eyes. I think that's my only first edition Legend of the Blue Eyes card. Um, this Thunder Dragon was the first, I don't remember if it was the first card, but it was the first common card I remember pulling that I was like, this is sick. Uh, cause Metal Raiders was actually the first pack that I bought myself. And in my first pack of Metal Raiders, I pulled this, so. Um, and then this is a Duelist ID card. I, I actually don't remember where I got this. It might have been just the mall or something. But it came out in the year 2000. It says 2000 there. Oh, it has the Yu-Gi-Oh card website down there. That's cool. So I wrote my name on there um, and put the date. It was from May 12, 2009 is when I wrote it on there. But I don't remember if that's when I got the card. I don't think it was when I got the card. I think I got it way earlier and then wrote my name on it later. But, yeah, 2009. So 15 years ago, I wrote that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so sick. I uh, don't have really much more to say, but thanks for watching. If you did, um, I'll see you in the next update when I get all the cards I need. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, bye guys.